All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another amazing quarantined episode of Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most glorious <laughs> pop culture podcast. This is your boy Brian, aka El Nino, and today I am joined with. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jordan Brown, aka Doodoo Brown, three eight seven nine PS four, aka. I haven't done this in so long. It's been a while. It's been a while. The, uh, the USDA. USDA fresh prime meat. <laughs> Ew. And uh, I'm Jex, aka <laughs> Brian. <laughs> I think you did that backwards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. We got uh, Jex in the building. World-renowned, world-famous <laughs> artist hails from right here in Greensboro, North Carolina, and of course, the infamous Doodoo Brown. Honestly, we're just going to shoot the shit today. We're just, uh, you know, we're bored. We're, we're quarantined or on house arrest or whatever you want to call it. We haven't caught up in a little while. So um, we're just going to kind of talk about how everything's been going on, kind of do a 2019 wrap-up with B. So, Brian, I know 2019 was a, was a banner year for Jax. I mean, you were all over the place, literally all yeah. over the world. Um, you know, just kind of talk a little bit about 2019 and, you know, some of your, your pieces, you know, whether if it's, uh, uh, you know, the outcast piece or, you know, some of the ones you did in Oklahoma, like what are some of the ones that really, really stand out to you? Yeah. So, um, I started the year, you know, going to Bogota, Colombia, which is crazy. And then, um, you know, just at, as I was, you know, going through the year, I kept, you know, thinking like, oh, you know, that month or the last project I just did was going to be like probably the wildest thing or the biggest thing I do all year. And it just, I kept kind of proving myself wrong, which was really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I just took, you know, every offer um, that I could basically, um, not just jobs, but like festivals and stuff like that, just opportunities to I don't get out there and travel and mingle. God, I miss doing that. <laughs> I miss you remember doing stuff. You guys remember stuff? Yeah. Yeah, stuff. Seems yeah, like a thing of the past, right? Yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> Your stuff yeah, is yeah. than our stuff, but <laughs> yeah. so, I was just grinding last year. Last year was my grind. Mm. This year, I, I'm gonna obviously I have no choice but to kind of tone it down, but. Um, yeah, last year was just like kind of slaving away, grinding away, but it paid off. It was good. Um, yeah, one of the best years of my life, we'll say yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, you were doing Maybe everything that. from, uh, you know, like you said, Columbia. The uh, Outcast piece got a lot of recognition from yeah. you know, everyone from Big Boy as well as Killer Mike. I think you said that you were like on FaceTime with, with Andre 3000 too or something like that. Yeah, yeah, me and uh, Killer Mike, he uh, had him on FaceTime, and it was cool to interact and hear him say that it was dope. <laughs> nice. And, uh, cool, man. Big yeah, boy. Uh, Atlanta's been showing a lot of video. love, too. I mean, because you also did the, uh, what was it, the, the TNT, or uh, what, what building of the Ted Turner piece that you did? Yeah, that was at uh, Turner Broadcasting in Atlanta. So they named the campus after Ted Turner. Um, pretty sure because they think he's going to croak pretty soon, which sucks because he's a great guy, great guy. But, uh, yeah. you know, they wanted to do it while he was still alive. And, um, they sent me a photo with him, like in front of it, he looks like he's hating life and he thinks it's the most ugly thing he's ever seen. But <laughs> apparently that's just the way he looks. <laughs> I can't wait till I have that look. Yeah. I think we're all slowly getting there in the, uh, in the looks department. Dudu, I know you haven't been on the show that much. Uh, you know, why don't you, for the fans that are just now catching up, like recap your your little 2019 adventure? Okay. Um, well, <laughs> you know, as compared to Jex, 2019 was, <laughs> it was a pretty good. It was a pretty good year to to I myself, and um, you know, I I became I, I worked a box car. I served drinks. I uh, fucked. I <laughs> fucked a lot of people. <laughs> and Damn I, year for Jordan. <laughs> you know, actually, it was it was actually like it was like so so. Twenty eighteen was like a stagnant year because you know I had like 
girlfriend or whatever, but you know, <laughs> which was fine, which was fine. She was great. She was, she was amazing. She was great. Yeah. But just out yeah, with the two of us, right? So, um, 2018 was kind of just like a flip floppy year, but then 2019 was astronomical, like as yeah. in, like, a, you know what I mean by a J curve? As a Zero to 60, man. Yeah, it was. If uh, it would be for the things that I've done in 2019, it would be absolutely hysterical if I died from COVID-19 <laughs> because it would, it would be, that would be the one to get me. You know what I'm saying? That would be, that would be the one to get me. You smell fine, Jax. You smell fine. <laughs> you, you smell but, great um, from here, man. And I'm I thought room. I smelled something. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, you smelled doo Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, now Dude, so now there's that I'm songs. about, huh? The songs you've been playing are fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Talk about oh. that, Jordan. Let's go ahead and fast forward to where we are now, which is all on lockdown. Tell so everybody about the ukulele sessions you've been doing. <laughs> so I've I've uh, released, or it started out. It was like 13 days straight where I did a song a day on the ukulele, like a ukulele cover, which was great. I mean, I love doing it, and it really. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I I I got. I got pretty depressed there because, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a non-essential and I don't have a job right now. So I'm doing my, I've got the, uh, unemployment coming in, which is great, but God damn, man, sitting at my house, just, luckily there's a plethora of video games out right now that have been taking my time and women, but <coughs> you know, there's, uh, you know, we, I've got, there, there also had to be something else, you know? So I've got, I had this ukulele and I've been put, and these videos, they take probably about three hours each to do because it's one straight shot. And if I fuck up, like by the end of it, if I post a video that has some fuck ups, it's because I'm just like, fuck this. I've taken this one little showy sip of alcohol or I've poured it out for someone, you know, I've done it like 30 times. Smashed by the end of it and it's just really tough <laughs> to keep going so i'm really pissed and I, I usually just stop it after like hour two and a half but yeah man it, it takes it's really cool. three it's really been cool and i would love some um song recommendations if you guys have any uh i'm gonna go ahead and say you should do a bludgeon song <laughs> yeah bludgeon on ukulele <laughs> yes dude yeah, I'm fucking there. Hey, you no. don't know. Will you will you please do a Deftone song? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Which that would be a song would you do? Song. Would you do change or would you do something else? I'd either do uh, change would probably be the easiest. Right. Because I know I know the words through and through, but um let's see, uh, the ones that come to mind immediately. Huh? Drives far away, far yeah. would be Drive, uh, was it my summer? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that would be pretty rough. One, one of my favorite, one of my favorite, probably probably my favorite um, Deftone song is uh, "Now You've Seen the Butcher" or "Now I've Seen oh, the Butcher." Yeah. I can't remember which one it is, but I don't know how that would translate to ukulele. No, it's tuned like extra low. It's, yeah, it's all fucking yeah. That'd be weird. Ding 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 all straight. So yeah, that would be fun. Brian, anything of you? Uh, no, that was, a, that was a great request with Deftones. I was kind of, you know, been thinking the last couple of days. I know we mentioned uh, Weezer Island in the Sun last time I saw you. Oh, that's that would right. just be like a fun little old track. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, that's from our last discussion. I really haven't thought. I mean, unless you'd like to do um, any any Die Artist Murder uh, on the ukulele would be fantastic. <laughs> we can get we can get Brian on the drums and then you on the oh, ukulele man. and then just smash I, it you up. know. He, you know, so um, one of the guys I play uh, Call of Duty with, uh, Brandon Green, DJ Rump Shaker. You probably, you guys know the guy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. He, uh, he jokingly said that I should learn back that ass up. <laughs> ah. I like it. I like and it. And I did. No. <laughs> so, so as soon as I get the lyrics one hundo, that's coming. Nice. So you should do that. like a, a 90s thing with that, and then you got to follow it up the next day with like Thong Song. Like just no, what you ridiculous. should do, dude, you should just order a, um, 
like a simple drum machine or something and then program the beat and then you can play along to it. It's just like, you could add another element to it. True. Even like I've, a I've definitely line. thought about that. True. Or get, uh, or just get the keyboard and do the little bossa nova. And yeah. And then <laughs> play it along to that. <laughs> Hold on, I have to sneeze. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> so wow, uh, Jordan sneezing out there. Brian, um, you've done some, uh, you know, some awesome, incredibly awesome custom pieces out there. Why don't you tell the the fans out there? Because we are going to air this tomorrow, the next day. I know you're you're doing like a limited run um, on where they can find, you know, what pieces that that are available and where they can find them at. Yeah. So um, during quarantine, I was kind of thinking about, you know, a way to have generate some some more revenue, like. Um, to stay alive and uh i was um kind of uh debating on whether uh, whether or not to do like a uh print run or not and then uh marty from coda street art he uh, actually offered a uh, really nice printer he had and said i could use it so um that's where it came from and, and i'm doing um 10 each of 10 different pieces so 100 total um that's it they're hand numbered and um uh you know very limited very limited uh but yeah i uh, dropped them on the big cartel today uh, it's jex.bigcartel.com and um i think i'm like pretty well over half sold already wow. so that's which is crazy because i have to you know print 60 you know uh prints that take 15 to 20 minutes each so oh, i'm gonna it's gonna take a while but i'm pretty stoked so nice man well hopefully we'll uh, we'll help you definitely sell the rest of them by tomorrow uh, the trent Re the trent Reznor piece looks outstanding i know you did the, the billy eilish one uh what are some of the other pieces that you put up uh on the uh on the big cartel website um I, uh, <clears throat> due to popular demand, um, I put the first kind of big piece I did, the Mac Miller piece. Um, mm. I did that, um, uh, as a print, um, the Gene Wilder, the Otis Redding, um, the golden drippy skull collaboration that I did with, uh, Jack of the Dust. Um, what else? Bunch of them. I don't know. It's it's ten, ten total. <laughs> well, get them get them while they're hot out there, ladies and gents, uh, fellas. Again, I do appreciate your time. Before we sign off, like, what is the one thing you're looking forward to when we get out of this? As far as like the first place you're going to go out to eat at and actually sit down, first concert you want to go to. I'll start with Jordan. We'll go to Jackson. Then go to me. Like, what are going to be like, you know, some. <laughs> some big things that you want to get done. Well, I don't even care if it's big things, but just as far as getting out of the house and enjoying something. Uh, well, first of all, first um, I wanted to, I wanted to ask Jax, is there anything like anyone right, like right now that can, that wants one of your prints? Is there anything like people who are out of jobs or anything like that? Is there anything they can do to like be non-essential and get one of your lovely thingies or. Are you trying, yeah. to, are you trying to offer handies right now? <laughs> I mean, dude, I, I I tell you what, there's two things I'd there's two things in the world I'd give a blowjob for. One is a Jex print, and two is a fucking haircut right now. <laughs> Damn. Well, I could probably take care of both of those for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, king. Yeah. I used to cut my my friend's hair back in the day when I lived in Wilmington. I used to cut um all my friend's hair for a case of beer. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, that's how I stayed drunk. <laughs> but anyways, but anyways, uh, no. What I the, let's see. Gosh, you guys remember like sitting down? You, you you remember being able to go somewhere and just sit down and be like, "I'll have this," and they bring it to you, yeah. and you pay them, and then you fucking leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? That's nuts. It's Shit, fucking man, weird. Um, Oh, what well, everyone probably fucking knows the first place I'm gonna go is hops. Oh, if yeah. they have if they have a good oh, fucking dude. Mm, if juicy. they have a good fucking special. Even if it's a it, like I like like they have bad specials, but man, I've been thinking about this all the time. I, I go and check my uh because I have it as a um, hotkey on my in my um internet browser. It's like hops. 
what's their weekly special every Monday I check. And so I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to go see a fucking movie in a movie theater with movie theater popcorn. Oh, God, yeah. And spray the butter in a fucking ramekin and like <laughs> snort it in my ear. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else did you just say? Oh, concert. Oh, God damn, man. I'm, well, I'm going to – I went to Core Life Eatery today and uh, got some curbside. And the girl who uh, gave me my food was like, oh, yeah, man. Like, she gave me the food. She was like, thank you. She was like, oh, wait, man. I can't wait till you serve me all the drinks when all this is over. And I literally started crying and was like, me too, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> Sitting on a fucking patio. Oh, man, dude. Like, and I, I only call her a bitch because, like, I don't really know her that well. But, um, <laughs> like, um. The concert, man. Which concert do I want to go to? I want to go to that fucking Die Hard is Murder concert that we were robbed of um, in Charlotte. Yeah. But, shit, I feel I feel bad for Joel. Yeah. Dude, you know, like, too, man. What the fuck? What does he do? What do you do in that situation? Touring, no touring is halted. Yeah. yeah. He does nothing, I guess. I mean, god damn, do they give him anything? Like, he does, moves to Atlanta. That's what he does. Is Did that he what happened? happened? Yeah, dude. He's, he's, he's like, it's like 80, 20. He's 80 there, 20 here. Holy that's a good, shit. That's I'm a good proud percentage. of him, man. Nice. Good I'm, I'm like, I'm like 60% Greensboro and like math anywhere else. <laughs> I know it's 40 guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, eight. Yeah, dude, I will literally do it. I'll go to fucking Arizona Pete's on a Friday for Christ's sake. You know what I'm saying? I'll like, go with I just want to be around people and like have them spit in my mouth and shit like that. <laughs> like, I don't care. I don't care. I just want to be around people and I do not want to sit in front of my PlayStation and play Final Fantasy VII Remake for 13 hours a day. <laughs> Although that's still really fucking fun. I was going to say, game, I know you ain't complaining great. that much about it. That game is great. It really is. It really <laughs> is. <laughs> someone else talk. B, what about what about you? You know, as far as whining, dining, music, raging, what what's on yeah, your, your agenda? Well, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I I kind of stay socially distanced. Mm -hmm. Besides, like one or two days a week when I yeah. go out or used to go out, but um, so not not too much has like changed. But um, you know, being able to go out to a bar and you know see my friends and especially like plan on going to a show that Joel booked you know, down the street or something, um, at the tiger or wherever, like mm -hmm. just knowing that, that there's options like that. I just can't wait. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, um, absolutely. Just like stuff going on, anything. I don't yeah. care. But, uh, oh. Jax, you turn your camera off on accident. He died. No, he, he's still there. His camera's off though. I think. Jax. Maybe his internet or something went out or something. Hold on. I just, I just put ask to start video. I can always edit this later. Okay. <laughs> huh. Hey, LQ. Hi. <laughs> Well, while we, while we wait to see what's going on with Jax, uh, hopefully his internet didn't go out or power didn't go out. LQ, what about you? What do you want to do after we get done with all this? What's on your to-do list? Get on the uh, show here. Get man. on here. Um, I've been doing a lot of a lot more drawing, a lot more product photography. Um, I can't drive, as you know, so it can be detrimental, but of all times right now, it's kind of a good thing that I can't drive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in no, this scenario, don't, don't but I live like a block and a half away from Best Way, so you know, worst case scenario. And I was thankful that I apparent like happenstance spot a bunch of toilet paper and paper towels on Amazon like right before all this happened. So we're not even like halfway through that. But um, no, I've just I've been at home doing a lot of art and a lot of photography and cleaning and I'm kind of a homebody so I love it and I watched a lot of TV shows and a lot of movies and I've 
personally really enjoyed it, but I know a lot of my extrovert friends are losing their fucking mind. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm going to be so happy to go back to a bar and see people, mm. but at the same time, you know, we all, we all process differently. We yeah. all go through things differently. And we all, you know, interpret and whatnot at a different capacity. So for me, I'm... I'm doing fine, but I have to check in on a, an almost daily basis with certain yeah. friends of mine where they're just not coping well. Right. So, but at the same time, I'm probably about to go down and visit my mom. She's remodeling her beach house and that's going to be interesting. But I think the last time I spent that much time with my family was like, I was 21 or 22. <laughs> right. Roughly. But yeah, man, it's, I'm just trying to be there for a lot of my friends. I've cooked a lot. I've baked a lot. I've taken pictures. I've done artwork for them. Nice. I've had a couple people over, but the people I've had over, like this one, have been ones that aren't stupid. Yeah. But I'll That's always good. Go, like, I'll go like a week without seeing anyone, but there's yeah. two dogs in the house. So, you know, I don't really... I'll talk to them, I guess, that's the worst case scenario. <laughs> who needs people when you have who, dogs? Who needs people when you have pets? That's right. Like, that was not great for me. But I don't know about everybody else. But anyways, yeah. But it's good seeing you. So, yeah, you too. You, you too. Thank you for being a part of the show. No, I know. I miss everybody. And I, and I hear you 100%. I mean, you know, I'm, a, I'm yeah. an introvert and an extrovert. So I'm yeah. glad to be able to spend this time with my daughter uh, and going back and forth between Greensboro and South Carolina. And my dog hasn't seen me this much ever. Since I've got, I think her. my dog's tired of me at this point. But at the same time, <laughs> he's already codependent, so I'm kind of worried of when I have to start putting him back in the crate. Right. He's kind of gonna lose his mind a little bit. So yeah. hopefully he doesn't. But I'll be honest, like I I miss managing my restaurant. I miss my staff. Yeah. I I miss really pissed off fucking patrons. Yeah. Angry <laughs> miss- about something. Re- Ridiculous as like their waffle took too long or they thought it was overcooked or they thought their chicken was overdone yeah. or like something asinine. It it almost makes me crave yeah. really I don't want to say shitty behavior, but you know, I posted like a meme today that said something along the lines of like this makes you realize most of the like regular population couldn't pass a serve safe test right and it, it's right it's valid it's it's incredibly true but at the same time i hope this has made people be more thoughtful be more appreciative yeah. be more caring and giving and more tentative about what they say yeah because sometimes you know in the service industry we we deal with people that just want to be pissed off and that want to like make a bad Yelp review because it makes them feel powerful or something to that extent. A lot of people warriors. And I think this reminds everyone to be a little bit more humane and, you know, sensitive to people's emotions and everything. Like, I don't think anyone's going to go back like once restaurants open and be like, fuck you, my fries are overdone. (laughs) Or you forgot this If they do, they're true pieces of shit if they do that. (laughs) Like, I think everyone's kind of lost their minds a little bit. So, hopefully people are a little bit more sensitive. But, of course, there's gradation. Like, it's going to wear off. It's going to be up and down. But... I think that first week we get back, it's going to be like... Everyone loves each other. Yeah, it's going to be New Year's Eve for a a week straight. Yeah, it's going to be a week of New Year's Eve. You almost miss being in the weeds. Like, you almost miss... I I do miss being in the weeds. That's why... You lose track of time. You're like, holy shit, it's 1 a.m.? How the hell did that happen? Or little things that used to make you so angry. Yeah. Like when you go to bed and be like, oh, I forgot to give this person their ranch, or I forgot I, to yeah. like add this to you a check, or I forgot this fucking like margarita on something. <laughs> you know, one hey, thing LQ, really LQ, LQ, let everybody know, um, you know, where you're at for when, when they get out of this, you know, where, where can they find you at in case they want to bitch about margaritas or fries or pancakes? <laughs> well, well, I'm not bartending anymore, I think, Blade, but <laughs> I do miss <laughs> it. I miss, I miss the volume more than anything right. but i'm now managing 913 whiskey bar um so i have an incredible staff i adore them they work their ass off 
And it's funny when that place opened, I went there all the time. And then I didn't really think about it, not for really any particular reason. I went there with my ex-boyfriend a lot, but it just kind of fell off the scope for me because we all have our regular pattern. Yeah. And then I applied for a job there, went through a couple of interviews, got it, and turned over the staff, turned over a lot of things, made a lot of changes. And I love that place. I love my owner. The owner greatly takes care of his staff. Um, Jameson, who worked with me at Stumbles, who also worked with me at, at Europa mm -hmm. and Crafted Taco and whatnot, works with me now. And I've brought a lot of people in. And the thing about the Greensboro service industry is we all kind of know each other. We work with each other. We all support each other. We take care of each other. Like I joke all the time how there's like several thousand dollars just floating around in Greensboro of us just tipping each other back and forth. <laughs> like, oh God, yeah. yeah. Asinine tips that are like astronomical, and we—that's what we do. We support each other, especially in times like this. You know, I can't tell you how many people have just shown, like, drop stuff off on my porch just because they're appreciative and mm -hmm. because that's how we are. But um, yeah. Anyways, right. 913 Whiskey Bar. There you go. Love it. 13 Whiskey Upgrade. Bar when we all get out of this. Boxcar. Um, you know, make sure everybody's going out supporting local no matter where you live. Take care of your bartenders when we get out of this. Take care of your servers, wait staff. Give the chef some love for cooking up a meal for you. Um, Jordan, any, any uh, you know, solo dubs you want to give out before we sign off? Fuck yeah. <laughs> all right. Three things. Yes. One, if you have PlayStation, buy Final Fantasy VII Remakes. It, it's amazing. Mm. It's, about, it's about 30 to 50 hours of gameplay, depending on how you play. We got and time. It's, it's great. It's, it's so great. I'm telling you, the combat system is amazing. Uh, the, it's visually so fucking stunning. Um, it takes you right through after Midgar. I still haven't finished it. I'm about 30 hours in. Um, uh, I... <laughs> I was, um, I accidentally bought Resident Evil 3 Remake while I was tripping on mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I went to go, so I had it in my PlayStation cart and I went to go buy the newest season of Rick and Morty and it was like, oh yeah, $80. And I was like, sweet. So I can't wait to play that. Apparently it's, it's not that long of a storyline, but um, oh, fuck. Am I back? Where am I at? You're there. You're there. You're okay. here. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> so that's, that's number one. Um, number two, um, you said that there's about a thousand, like a couple thousand dollars of floating money here in Greensboro with, mm -hmm. um, you know, bartenders and wait staff and front of house, back of house, every, everyone tipping everyone because we all love each other. Right. Mm -hmm. I want to make something clear right now. There is nothing lower to me than a person in the service industry and it doesn't matter what form of service industry you're in mm -hmm. if you don't tip and you're in the service industry you have zero negative of my respect like i agree negative of my respect and i think that is the shittiest thing a person can do it's the lowest of the low it's the lowest of the low mm -hmm. and um yeah like fuck you and i said did i say three you did say three so that was two um, <laughs> well, here, here I am, caught with my pants down again. <laughs> I meant to say two things, and if you all heard me say three, then I was incredibly wrong, and I've been wrong before, and my God, I'll be wrong again. That's all right. And then again, given the neighbor tag out there, I know you've been kick, taking ass and kicking names out there. Uh, so I don't know my Activision account number because it's different from my um from my PlayStation account, but uh, okay. I'll be sure, I'll be sure to get that and and. and post it somewhere that everyone can hopefully see what I've been fucking doing because I'm good. good. I'm good at this. That boy good. And uh or at least at Warzone anyways. And um mm -hmm. yeah, so uh it's doodoo brown three eight seven nine is my uh PS4 gamer tag and I will get the Activision account number to y'all. And then for people that want to request uh, ukulele songs, they can find you on IG. Is that the easiest place to find you? Yes. Uh, okay. it's same, same thing. Doo -doo Brown 3879. D-O-O-D-O-O -O -D -O -O Brown 3879. Excellent. Watch my videos. If you like them, cool. If you don't, then you don't, don't have to fucking watch ukulele videos. <laughs> 
just awesome, brother. Well, tell everyone. And I have a I have a band named My Brother Skyler. There you go. And they are fantastic. Can't wait to see them live again. Big shout out to Skyler. Big shout out to the Brown family. Make sure you tell your parents I said hello. And miss, um, miss, we miss all you guys. Keep practicing social distancing out there. Hopefully we get out of this soon. Can't wait to literally see everybody in person and give all the hugs once we know that you are 100% Corona free. Uh, make sure you check out the podcast, of course. Subscribe, follow, rate us, iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube website popculturepodcast.com thank you for listening to zero dark nerdy (laughs) and we'll catch you on the next one later and anger management fuck anger management